Good day, students. Today, I want to solve problem on circular motion involving angular speed or angular velocity w. Uh, don't forget that in the last class, I gave us several formula under circular motion. I said that w equals to theta over t, where theta is angle turned through by the body when you while stone round a circle, and the t is time taking. And also, I told us that. Uh, theta equals to s over r theta is angle turned through by the body s is the distance where the object move take a measurement of a distance p to q that's s and also the r is the distance from the center of the circle to the circumference where the object is moving around the circle and uh, that's theta equals to s over r and also i told you that um, uh, your v equals to w r these are important formula in which you are going to start applying as we solve problem. And also, I told us that when we are solving this problem, always take note that um, when you object move around the circle, uh, yeah, the angle is 360 degree. But which is the same thing when you are, when you are doing it in form of radian, it will now be two pi radian instead of right saying 60, 360 degree. You take it as 2 pi radian. Okay, now let's see. A stone wire at the end of a rope, 30 centimeter long, as your R is 30 centimeter, end of a rope, 30 centimeter long, converted to meter 0. Point, divided by 100. No, don't, don't forget that 100 centimeter make 1 meter, and the uh, one meter and 30 centimeter with what x you cross multiply x equals 30 30 centimeter times one meter over 100 centimeter center cancel centimeter that's where that's where we have your meter zero cancel zero you have 0 0.3 meter is that okay that's equivalent to 0 0.3 meter what next do we need to do? Make 10 revolution. Don't forget that one revolution is equivalent to 360 degree and also is equal to 2 pi radian. Pi is 180 degree times 2, that's 360. We know this, but we are interested in 2 pi, uh, pi in radians. We are going to relate it like that. One revolution equivalent to 2 pi radian. Okay, and what do you have? We have 10 revolution. 10 revolution equals 10 times 2 pi radian, which is 20 pi radian. This one is in theta. Anything radian stands for the angle turned through by the body. We have a circle like this. This is your theta, angle turned through by the body. This is your S, the distance PQ, this is your radius. I told you that in this case you have theta to be S over R, the distance S from P to Q over R. And don't forget we have another formula in which I told us theta equals W angle, angular velocity equals to theta over T, angle turned through by the body over time taken. Don't forget that we have another formula that says v velocity equal to s over time we are familiar with that okay since you have this to be s cross multiply over one that's r theta you replace it here which is instead of writing s now write r theta over t hmm? now you have r theta over t is w r w therefore v equals r w these are the equation you relate together that's linear velocity equals to distance from the center of the circle to the circumference times the angle, angular velocity. Okay, now let's come back to the problem we are solving. This is our theta, 2 pi radian. Okay, you have to look for the angular velocity. You have your theta. Now, you know, angular velocity W, W equals to theta. That's first one, theta over t. 
I think we are giving time. Time. The time is what? Two seconds. Now, all our theta, the theta is 2 pi radian. 2 pi radian divided by 2 pi over, sorry, 20 pi. 20 pi. 20 pi radian divided by time, which is 2 seconds. Now, 2 year 1, 2 year 10. Our angular velocity equals 10 pi radian per second. And if you are giving pi to be 3.14, it means pi 3.142. It has given to you as that you multiply it 10 times 3.142. You get it as 31.42 radian per second. That's the angular speed. The next one is linear speed. Don't forget you have V equals R W. What's our R 0.3? Our W 31.42. When you multiply that, you have 9.426 meter per second. The third one, the distance covered in five seconds. Don't forget that your V equals to S over T. Cross multiply S equals to V T. What our V? Our V is 9.426 for our time. We are giving time for this condition times 5. When you multiply that, you have 47.13 meters. This is the end of our class. Please subscribe to my channel so they can have access to the latest video. Have a wonderful day.